Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints and to the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This is video number three in a series of videos about how I uh, set my Wacom uh, uh, Cintiq up to work inside of, uh, to work with Painter 2015 and specifically to work with uh, the new, new arranged palette called Simple. Okay, so in the last video, I told you about the range palette simple, and I said that I had made one for myself, and I wanted to talk about that. So I'll go to Window, Arrange Palettes, and I'll come to Skip's Watercolor. Now, Skip's Watercolor is based on the simple um, format, but I've added a couple of things or changed a couple of things. One thing that I did is I changed the command here to a vertical instead of horizontal, the command toolbar, because being horizontal, I mean, vertical like this, it takes up less room and it doesn't interfere with my painting that's uh, working. Now, I've also created uh, several uh, custom palettes, and I will do that as I go. They're usually set up for specific uh, uh, brushes that I may want to use. But I also might have a palette for particular commands. Now, these commands can also be in the Wacom. Uh, and I do have these in there, but I find that in some cases, I, I will quickly go to like uh, a place where I know there's a command and it works uh, as fast uh, as going uh, using the radial menu. Now, one thing that you do see is I have the uh, brush uh, selection uh, panel. What is it called? <laughs> brush selector. <laughs> okay. And I also have the property bar showing. Now, the only reason those two are showing is because in videos, when I'm showing people how to do things, if I'm working here, you don't see what brush I've got loaded. So I leave this open so that people can see what brush I've got loaded. And most of the time I use these to make the changes, but occasionally I'll fall back and use this. Again, here, um, there's some quick things on the uh, property bar that uh, that might be faster than utilizing the uh, the radial menu. For instance, in particle brushes, I might want to turn on glow or turn glow off or something like that. So I have that up uh, to uh, speed up my workflow. But that's basically it. Uh, basically, the changes that have been made. Now, if I go to um, arrange palettes and I go to skips default, what you have in skips default is something similar. It is the default setup with the big toolbar, but I have this little toggle layout right here. So what does toggle layout do? Well, that's one of the neat things about window uh, arrange palettes. If you create your own, you can actually switch or quick quick switch between your two uh, two of your uh, arranged palettes that you've created. So in this case on layout one, I have skips watercolor. Layout two, I have skips default. And I have toggle layout, which if I click on toggle layout, if I can get to it. <laughs> All right, quick switch, toggle layout. It's going to toggle it to the next layout. So see, I just went from uh, my default arrange palette to my skips watercolor. If I want to go back, I have a little command here that I can get to quickly. And I just click there and I switch to the default and back. Okay, and the only reason I do that is every once in a while there's something over here that I want. Now, most all of this stuff is loaded into uh, my radial menu, so I don't go here very often, but if I need to, I can. So basically what I'm telling you is that you can 
adjust these layouts. You can add things to them. And in the case here, I have the watercolor commands and so forth set up. Once you do that, you go to Window, Arrange Palettes, Save Layout. And then you click on Save Layout and you type in the name. Now, I don't want to do that because I've already got this one saved. But if I typed in Skip's Watercolor, it would tell me there's one that already exists and what I like to replace it. And I would say yes. So that saves your um, arrange palette. And if you want to get back and forth between two different arrange palettes, you simply go to quick switch, go to layout one and select who you want to be uh, layout one and then go to layout two and select who you want to be for layout two. And that sets it up for a quick switch so that you can toggle back and forth between your arranged palettes. And this is very, very cool. Okay, so next we're going to start uh, working our magic with our Wacom uh, tablet properties. And as I said, I'll be using the Cintiq. But again, if you're working with an Intuos 4, Intuos 5, Intuos 5 Touch, Intuos Pro, or any of the various Cintiqs, I think you can follow along. Alrighty then, talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.